Most of the bypass surgeries that are done in this country right now are done in a very traditional way. The large incision is created in the front and the breastbone, the heart is completely stopped, and then the bypasses are created. I clearly saw there was a need for a change in the way we did heart surgery. The traditional heart surgery, which is done through the big incision in the front of the chest, has been done since the 60s. So I worked together with industry and some other surgeons around the country to try and develop an approach to coronary bypass that was less invasive. The best way to describe the McGinn technique is by describing the old-fashioned way of doing it. The old-fashioned way, we used to cut the center bone, the breast bone, right in half and spread that bone a good seven inches apart so we can get access to the heart. It's not really necessary to do that anymore. We can actually get to the heart in between the ribs without uh, breaking any ribs, without cutting any bones, and we can get in there and cause as little damage as possible. Interestingly, it's been very difficult to create a minimally invasive heart surgery for one simple reason, is that the heart is one of the only organs in the body that continuously moves in order for us to stay alive. So it's like operating on a moving target. So having exposure to that moving target is key. So in order for us to be able to do this, a couple of things had to be invented. One is a way of holding the heart still while we're doing the surgery without interrupting its function. The other device is to move the heart around so that we can get to all sides of the heart without any difficulty. And with those two tools, we're now able to create a minimally invasive approach to bypass surgery with the heart still moving. I'm always looking for a safer way to do things. I'm always looking for a more efficient way of performing procedures. And I'm always looking for better outcomes. And I think we achieve that by being so obsessive about all the details. I believe that in the next five years, this will be the standard of care. Uh, nobody will want to have their chest cracked open anymore. It will be clearly shown in the literature that we have been publishing that the advantages of the minimally invasive procedure so outweigh the disadvantages of the traditional incision that all surgeons will be moving in this direction in the next few years without question.